Looky here. United States has uh, historically uh, imposed a strong presumption of marital paternity. <laughs> has also imposed barriers to paternity challenges once paternity has been legally established. Yes. In more recent years, especially since the advent of the DNA testing, yeah, laws and guidelines have been proposed or enacted <laughs> that may allow for a paternity challenge by a legal father, yeah, who later determines he is not a child's a biological father or by a biological father <laughs> who learns that somebody else has been named on the child's birth certificate <laughs> as the child's father. <laughs> now, uh, California, yes, 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 County of Los Angeles. Oh, you know, I emailed the County of Los Angeles, Florida, <laughs> Parker versus Parker. Yes. Now, when you don't get a dissolution of marriage... <laughs> You don't have the availability of DNA testing because of the restraint provisions of the protection order. <clears throat> and it's enforceable in every nation of the world. Yes, I would say that I'd want to call yes. the child support services in the United Kingdom, yeah. Australia and Canada. But, and then I'd want to call them about the restraint provisions of any court order issued in any nation. Mm -hmm. See, these other nations have a considerable amount of liability. Yes. And as often they said, well, oh, we're not getting sued. Yeah. I actually did inform Australia. Poop. Now, let's say, yes, you issued a dissolution of marriage. Right. Where you didn't have any subject matter. Oh. Ooh. Well, your little county courthouse, yes, has issued a court order <clears throat> without protecting my right to prove the maternity of my sons. Yes. And then there's some big questions about exactly how was my paternity being used, <clears throat> considering uh, Heidi's involvement in the family. Ouch! Now, for every signature that is not my wife's signature on any court document, <clears throat> I'm going to need to speak to the individual oh, and say, well, why did you sign those court documents, Heidi Lee Budner? <clears throat> because of that. And did you, yes, the look-alike petitioner <laughs> that used the durable power of attorney to motion the court or sign any court document, <laughs> did you have any knowledge of the use of your eggs from your ovary being put in any womb of the wife? <laughs> now, it's one of these very large lawsuits right now where I'm going, ooh, ooh, ooh.